The nickel double mug is the best defense in Madden 25 for a variety of different reasons, one of which being it gets probably the most consistent pressure in the game. Now, when I say consistent pressure, I mean that regardless of whether somebody comes free or not, does this defense put the quarterback on a timer and does it make them have to respect the fact that there is a blitz threat on the field? This defense certainly does that for a couple of reasons. And we're going to show you why in this video. Now, if you want to get my entire nickel double mug defensive ebook, it's available in our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. We not only show you the blitz concepts, we show you the run defense from this. We show you how to lock up the best cut, best formations in the game from this we show you red zone defense we show you depth chart setups all the things you need to know to run this defense at the highest level possible now the play we're going to be using is the nickel dog three buzz and the setup is actually really simple which is another reason why this defense is so effective so what we're going to do here is we're going to come out of the huddle and we're just going to show blitz now when we show blitz you're going to notice that it brings the safeties down into the box and gives us a significantly better alignment then we're going to pinch our defensive line. You're going to see that it moves these outside guys inside. We're going to slant our defensive line inside. And from this point, the blitz is truly set up. What I like to do then is kind of create different coverages around this. So the reason that your opponent has to respect this blitz concept is because if I just hard flat my slot corner here, we have a six-man pressure. We're going to stand right here. We're going to hold left trigger, and if the running back goes on a route, we're just going to go guard him, and you're going to see that we're going to get really pretty good instant pressure off that left side. So they have to respect this. They have to start blocking a running back to respect this blitz. Otherwise, we can literally just call this play and send six at them all game long. We can just send six at them all game long, and if they're not, you know, they're, we're, going to, we're going to get pressure. We're either going to get edge pressure or we're going to get A-gap pressure. But what makes this defense so special and why this defense is pretty much the main defense that's being run at in the competitive Madden circuit right now is because of the fact that if they do block a running back or tight end, if I slant inside, I can actually play a coverage defense with this, but this coverage defense can disengage and get pressure as well. So what we're going to do for the coverage defensive aspect here is we are going to simply coverage out everyone except for the middle four players. So this defensive end, we could put him in whatever coverage we want. Slot corner, we can put him in whatever coverage we want. Want to stop double post? Just man him up to the outside player. We can put this outside guy in whatever, this D in on the right in whatever coverage we want. See what I'm saying? And then what we're able to do here is a lot of times you're going to see that this will disengage, as you see right there, the running back. This is what makes this defense special. This is what makes this defense good is even if you do set up pass protection for this, this four man has potential to disengage an instant shed up at the middle of the defense. And the other thing that's really cool about this this year is you have these DNs and hard flats. So if they roll out, all you have to do is send the hard flat at the quarterback. Super effective little defense here. Now, there is a three man version of of this pressure as well and the three-man version of this pressure is essentially we're just going to zone out this left side in right side in slot corner and they're going to take this defensive tackle on the right side and we can put him in a quarterback spy now when you send three i like to blitz my user um, you don't have to but if the reason that i like to blitz my user is because if you don't blitz your user you won't get really good sheds so this kind of helps with the sheds the cool part about the send three, there you see, we're getting disengages, we're getting pinballing. You can also ultimately quick send the spy after the, after the thing is going on. But this allows you to get a quarterback spy on the field, which is super helpful. And the other thing that's really nice about this defense is not just what it does against bunch, but it's what it does against formations like trips tied in. Most defenses don't always align super well. With, well, with this, we can have auto flip on, and you're going to see that, let's say we go up against a trips tied in player, or an alignment, like a spread alignment, we're really not in a problematic state because the slot corner is really not needed for the pressure. All we're doing is slanting inside, and then now we can like man the slot corner up over here. One of my favorite ways to play trips is basically this defense right here. I think this defense is really good. The vert hook has a matching principle built within him that he's going to be able to match really well. Another thing that you could do is put an outside quarter on this outside cornerback that's going to help with the tight end corner routes and stuff like that. But basically, you're just going to stand here, and you see, this time we're going to disengage up the right side A-gap instantly. So we're only sending four people. We're getting instant A-gap pressure, 
this is what makes this defense super, super effective. And in my opinion, the best way to run the defense is to stand on the tackle on either side. If you hover over the tackle, I have seen this defense just do a lot better in terms of the A-gap pressure, right? If you stand over the tackle here, and then basically what I like to do is kind of run at him a little bit, and there you see it kind of triggers that disengage, and there you see the pressure. This defense is probably the best defense in the game, um, and there's a reason why the best players in the world are running it for hundreds or for thousands of dollars. So you need to kind of learn this defense. Even if you, even if you need to just learn how to beat it, this defense is worth learning. And if you want to learn my version of it, how I like to run this defense, I have a full ebook in our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. You can check that out at the link in the description. While we're here, I do want to show one other thing. So let's say against trips, you might favor using this safety. Some people do because this allows you to do different things with your coverage on the back side here. You know, you could, you could, you could just do some different things, right? If you use this safety here, what's really interesting uh, is that now we have a chance to trigger this left side a gap, right? So uh, right side a gap, left side a gap, based off where you stand with your user. Just a little bit of a, a tip with this, and. But in general, I think standing on the running back side is probably the best. You know, most consistent pressure comes this way. And the reason why is just because it's it's going to trigger the A gap really, really well. Now, where it gets a little interesting is like a bunch strong type defense, but I don't think that's, you know, super relevant. But you see here, even if they do block it, look at that pressure. Instantly up the A gap. The splits is, the splits is insanely good. It's by far the most overpowered blitz in the game. And I would run it. <laughs> I would run this defense, and I would just basically try to switch stick my way to success. This four man is as good as it gets right now. And if you can switch stick, this becomes super good. It's a great way to learn to switch stick too, because you could pretty much base out of this coverage that I'm showing you for the entirety of the game. And then every now and then, let's say you want to mix some things in. Well, then you can go with a, you know, a man, a little cross man setup. So we can take the safety cross man, him to circle, right? We could take the defensive end, man him up on the running back, man this guy up on the tight end. Basically, we just kind of have a, it looks like zone. It looks like everything we've been doing this whole time, but now we just have everybody manned up. And if you man coverage this year, I'd shade outside, 100% shade outside. And then you're just kind of lurking here and you see we get instant A-gap pressure. This defense is insane. So if you guys want to check out the ebook on this, link is in the description, school.com slash Cody Bauer. That's where you can learn all of my offensive and defensive schemes, both for Madden and for College Football 25. For only $10, you get unlimited access to everything over there, all the updates, everything you need to get better. So become a member of our community today. You can sign up at the link in the description below.